a minus b first of all we have to convert this all expression in the form of a square minus b square and we can we have to use formula a plus b a minus b so let's take a start here is uh, 4 um, square root of 4 means 2 so we can write 2m whole square minus square root of 49 means 7 7 square means 49 so we have to write down 7 square now this in the form of a square minus b square a square minus b square formula a plus b a minus b in the place of a here is 2m and in the place of b here is 7 so we can write 2m plus 7 2m minus 7 a plus b a minus b look at this one here is 9c square minus 100 square root of 9 means 3 3c whole square and here is 100 square root of 100 means 10 whole square so this in the form of a square minus b square a square minus b square formula a plus b a minus b in the place of a here is 3c and in the place of b here is 10 so we can write a plus b it means 3c plus 10 and 3c minus 10 3c minus 10 hope you understand this and one thing while factorization or factor factoring anything if common first of all we have to take common then after factorize or use formula keep in your mind now 25 square root of 25 means 5 x whole square we have to write minus 1 means we have to write 1 square 1 square means 1 now this in the form of a square minus b square in the place of a what is here 5x in the place of b what is here 1 so we can write a plus b a minus b so 5x plus 1 and 5x minus 1 hope you understand this one now look at question number d first of all we have to convert this in the form of whole square so we can write 2x whole square minus y whole square 2 square means 4 x square x square y square y square now this in the form of a square minus b square in the place of a 2x in the place of b y so we can write 2x plus y and 2x minus y a plus b a minus b now look at question number e what is the square root of 2 we don't have and what is the square root of 50 we don't have i told you before also if common first of all we have to take common and then after factorize or use formula from 2 and 50 common is 2 remaining 1 minus 2 into 25 is a 50 z square now we can find out the square uh, square root of 1 and 25 2 now 1 whole square means 1 minus 25 means 5 z whole square we have to write 5 square means 25 z square z square now you can see the in the place of a here is 1 in the place of b here is 5 z so we can write 2 1 plus 5 z we have to use formula a plus b a minus b so a means 1 b means 5 z so a plus b 1 plus 5 z and 1 minus 5 z Hope you understand this question to number e now look at question number f here also i seen something common here is x cube and here is x so we can take here x common and remaining is x square minus 4y square now we can easily convert this in the form of a square minus b square so we can write x and here we have to write x whole square minus square root of 4 means 2 2y whole square now in the place of a what is here x in the place of b 2y so we can write x plus 2y x minus 2y a plus b a minus b now look at next question number g you can see here 12 m square minus 75 n square we cannot convert in the form of whole square because square root of 12 we don't have we get in decimal so first of all we have to take common if common we have to take common from here i see from 12 and 75 common is 3 i teach you before also in previous when i was teaching exercise 1 i teach you how to take common there so here common is 3 and remaining 4 m square 3 4 is a 12 minus 3 2 is a 6 15 3 5 is a 15 3 25 is a 75 and square now we can convert this to in the form of a square minus b square so we can write here 3 2m whole square minus 5n whole square now this is in the form of a square minus b square a square minus b square formula a plus b a minus b so we can write 3 2m plus 5n 2m minus 5n a plus b a minus 
B. Hope you understand this question. Now look at question number H. Uh, this one is fraction, not a problem because I am here to teach you. Here is z square, so we have to write z whole square minus 4 by 9. We have to write 2 by 3 whole square. 2 square means 4, 3 square means 9. Now a square minus b square. What is the formula of a square minus b square? a plus b a minus b in the place of a what is here z in the place of b 2 by 3. So we can write z plus 2 by 3 and z minus 2 by 3. a plus b a minus b. Here also in fraction not a problem. We can do this 4 by 25. We can convert this one in the form of whole square. Square root of 4 means 2 and square root of 25 means 5 and square root of 25 also 5. So we can write here 2 by 5 whole square minus 5x whole square. 5 square means 25. Now in the place of a what is here 2 by 5 and in the place of b here is 5x. So we can write here 2 by 5 plus 5x. 2 by 5 minus 5x a plus b a minus b now look at question number j okay uh, 49 by 121x square minus 64 by 9 y square first of all we have to convert this in the form of whole square a square root of 49 means 7 7 7 is 49 and a square root of 121 means 11 11 square means 121 here is x square so we have to write x whole square minus 64 square root of 64 means 8 8 by and square root of 9 means 3 3 y whole square now this is in the form of a square minus b square a square minus b square what is the formula of a square minus b square a plus b a minus b so we can write here 7 by 11 x plus 8 by 3 y a plus b and next a minus b we have to write 7 by 11 x minus 8 by 3 y a minus b hope you understand and if you have any confusion you can comment and if you understand if you like my video please hit the like button and please comment do you understand or not okay now look at question number k here is x cube y cube minus 16 x y if i told you before also if common first of all we have to take common then after factorize or use formula here you can see x y and here is x cube y cube so we can take x y common smallest one we have to take now x y common so what is remaining here x square y square 2 and here is nothing than 1 2 plus 1 3 and 2 plus 1 3 minus 16 x y already common by what is here z square so we have to write z square now we can convert this easily in the form of a square minus b square so we can write x y and here x y whole square minus 16 means 4 square root of 16 means 4 4 square means 16 by z whole square we have to write 4 square means 16 z square z square now x y so x y this is in the form of a square minus b square formula a plus b a minus b so we can write x y plus 4 by z x y minus 4 by z a plus b a minus b now look at next question by l x plus y whole square minus 4 x square y square in the place of a here already x plus y a square already now we have to convert this in the form of b whole square so x plus y whole square minus square root of 4 means 2 here is a square a square so we have to write x y whole square now in the place of a what is here x plus y in the place of b what is here 2 x y no need to write a and b just uh, um, i'm showing this the value of a means this and the value of b means this a square minus b square we have a formula a plus b a minus b so what we can write a plus b a means x plus y so we can write x plus y plus b b means what is here 2 x y and next x plus y minus b minus b means what is here 2 x y finish this much only now these are unlike terms we cannot add and subtract now look at this one here also this one already in the form of a square this we have to convert in the form of whole square so we can write x minus y whole square minus 16 means 
4 z whole square 4 square means 16 z square z square now you can see in the place of a what is here x minus y and in the place of b here is 4 z a square minus b square what is the formula of a square minus b square a plus b a minus b so we can write x minus y a this one is a and this one is b a plus b b means what is here 4 z and next a minus b a means this b means this x minus y minus 4 z a minus b a minus a plus b and minus b hope you understand this now look at question number n first of all we have to convert in the form of whole square this one is already in the form of whole square this we have to convert a square whole square minus a square minus 3b square whole square this one is a this one is b so formula we have a plus b a minus b so according to this formula we have to use a square plus a plus b a square minus 3b square and a minus b a square minus a square minus 3b square why i gave this do you do you know because here is minus if plus then doesn't matter if minus this minus will affect this one that's why i give big bracket now when you open the bracket what we get here a square plus a square minus 3b square and this side a square minus a square minus minus plus 3b square now a square a square cancel one positive one negative so cancel here both positive and like term so we can add a square a square 2a square minus 3b square and this side remaining 3b square single one monopoly you have to write uh, front 3 uh, 3b square 3a square minus 3b square hope you understand this question number n little bit lengthy but uh, easy while practicing you can understand practice two three times practice make you perfect just copying is not the solution you have to practice you have to learn each and every step now this one first of all this already in the form of a square this b square convert convert in the form of b square so we can write 2x minus 3y whole square minus 2y whole square 2 square 4 y square y square in this in the form of a square this one in the form of b square so we can write 2x minus 3y a plus b b means 2y a minus b 2x minus 3y minus 2y a minus b now you can see here these two are like terms so we can add subtract here minus plus minus we have to subtract so we can write 2x minus y minus 3 plus 2 means 1 1 no need to write and this one minus 3y minus 2y minus minus plus we have to add so 2x minus 3 minus 2 means minus 5 minus 5 y hope you understand this question number o also now look at last question number p 1 minus 36 m plus n whole square first of all we have to convert this in the form of a square minus b square 1 whole square a square minus here is 36 so we can write 6 better give big bracket because here already small bracket and we can write m plus n whole square 6 square means 36 m plus n square means here already now this in the form of a square minus in the place of b what is here 6 m plus n b square so we can write 1 plus 6 give back bracket m plus n a plus b and next a minus b 1 1 minus 6 m plus n a minus b now 1 plus you can leave up to here or uh, 6m plus 6n you can do this step also 6n minus plus minus 6 into n 6n hope you understand today's video related with factorization if you like my video please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please subscribe and hit the bell button so you will get the notification of upcoming videos and please 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 share with your friends sharing is caring so please share with your friends thank you so much